Hello everyone, welcome to the TSS. In this class, we will discuss about generating uh, numbers and counting the numbers and how finding the unique numbers as well. How many unique numbers are there and then finding the count of the numbers. Okay, so, number of repetitions. Okay, how a number was repeated? How many number of times a number is repeated in an array, and as well as the unique numbers. Okay, not the duplicates. Unique numbers. How we can do it? And we can do it with a method called unique method, friends. So the np dot unique method can be used to get the unique items. If you want the repetition counts of each item, set the return count parameter to true. The same method will be used as an count also. If we pass the argument return count is equal to true. Okay. So all these methods are beautifully developed by the wonderful developers all over the world, NumPy team. So in order to save our time, we don't need to uh, invent the wheel again. So the wheel is already invented. So all these methods are already invented by some great people. Just we need to know the methods are available and just use that one. So don't waste time again uh, reinventing some code to again to find uh, unique items and how to count it by all those code that code was already developed okay so just make it use use of those developed code friends so let us uh, see one example just uh, in order to i use this unique method you need to generate some numbers okay so some numbers for generating some numbers in the previous just previous class we saw how to generate a random integers of size 10 or 20 whatever size you want okay so just generate random numbers of random integers okay from 0 to 20 so a numpy generate random numbers from 0 to 20 of size 20 that means 20 numbers it will generate between 0 to 20 in these 20 numbers some duplicate numbers will also come and unique uh, mean uh, unique numbers will also come duplicates also come for example you take uh, two two will be repeated one two three four times it was five times it was repeated okay like that some other numbers are 16 16 is also repeated uh, maybe it depends because randomly it was selected okay so the task of this unique method is it will scan all the array and it will find the unique elements unique elements as say 8 3 7 15 16 10 2 no matter how many times the number appear 2 it will take 2 as unique okay only 1 2 it will take after that 14 so like that it will took all the unique items and then store it in the variable and then if we pass return counts is equal to true then it will count the uh, numbers also okay how many number of times that particular number repeats if you see the two here it will repeat how many times one two three uh, four five so five times it is repeated so for 2 it uh, it displays 5 times 2 is repeated like that and 10 you see 10 was not repeated it appears in only one time so for 10 it, it places 1 like that it will do for each and every number and this is the activity of the unique method friends and uh, in the field of uh, data science and machine learning data cleaning data pre-processing uh, stages uh, this numpy pandas 
are very much heavily used uh, to uh, to know the things and uh, to process the things, uh, friends. So at that time you can feel, uh, you may feel uh, the importance of uh, all these things. Uh, at present, uh, maybe it may be boring. Uh, for what purpose it is uh, used? Uh, how we can? Why we want to know all these things like that? But uh, when you enter uh, into the field of uh, machine learning or into the data science projects, data processing stage is a big headache stage. Lot of data cleaning will be involved. A lot of pandas, lot of numpy uh, operations we have to do. Okay. So, needs are uh, arises, arises like that, need will be arised like that in the different stages of a project. So, from all those stages, you need to know all these things in the back of the mind to get well ahead, okay, get move forward ahead. So, let us see the usage, numpy.unique of, you have to pass the array. So, this is the array, generated array is this one. You have to pass the generated array to the unique method and then you need to pass an argument return counts is equal to true. So, the unique method returns are two things. One is unique and counts. Counts is also it will be stored. And if you print these two variables, now it will be displayed like this. Two. Okay. Two unique unique elements in this sequence say 2 3 4 7 8 in the ascending order it was displayed and the counts corresponding counts 2 2 is uh, how many times it was appeared 2 5 times 3 only one time 4 one time 7 one time 8 one time like that each and every number the count was displayed this is the unique method activity friends let us jump into the Jupyter Notebook and check it out. Uh, let, us, let us delete all these things. We don't need these things. Okay, let's import numpy as np. And after that, we need to generate a, a sequence, no? Uh, np np dot random dot rand int of say for example take some take some series uh, say this time 22 22 let's say 40 we can give and size we can give how many numbers say let us take uh, 20 numbers okay and we will assign it to an array now we will assign it to an array okay so let us see what the contents okay now the integers was generated from 20 to 40 and how many items 20 20 numbers we generated in the range of 20 to 40 okay now we can use the unique method to find the unique elements in this array and then their counts okay let's do it np dot unique of what we need to pass a sequence of generated array comma return underscore tab counts return underscore counts is equal to true so what this method will return something so that we will assign it to the variable say something called unix comma counts is equal to okay i had run i had pressed a, a shift enter so it is another type of shortcut for clicking this run okay don't confuse so I had run it so now just see what this variable holds okay this is the variable unique unique elements in this 
array. These are the unique elements in the array. So it will avoid the duplicates. So let us see the counts. Okay, 20 was appeared only one time. 22 will was appeared two times. Let us check it. 22, one time. Next 22, 20, yes, here. So two times. So here it was displayed as two times. 23 is appeared one time. 24, one time. 25, two times. So 25, here one and here one. So two times and one more time where it was appeared. 25, 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes. 25 is 2 times only. Okay. So, like that, it will be uh, unique numbers will be displayed and their corresponding counts are also displayed. So, this is the method of displaying unique numbers and their counts, friends. And in the next class, we will discuss about some more topics. So, till then, bye bye. Your Svira signing off. Thank you for listening.